This is an excerpt from the audiobook of From Coping to Thriving, How to Turn Self-Care into a Way of Life by Hannah Brame from becomingwhoyouare.net. Create a mini retreat. Needs, acceptance, affection, appreciation, compassion, consideration, empathy, inclusion, intimacy, love, nurturing, self-respect, support, to understand and be understood, movement or exercise, rest or sleep, safety, touch, authenticity, presence, peace, inspiration, autonomy, space, celebration of life, clarity, discovery, growth, hope, learning, mourning, self-expression, stimulation, to matter. This suggestion follows on from the last, create a self-care kit. It's a way of going to the spa without stepping foot in a spa. I love the idea of going on a retreat. At the time of writing, it isn't something I've done, but I've been sorely tempted in the past, and it's definitely on my experiences bucket list. At the same time, I know that it's not the retreat itself that part of me longs for. It's the feelings and sensations involved in that experience. In the initial chapters of this book, we explored how self-care is not about what you do, but about the intention behind it and the feelings the experience invokes. This suggestion is about taking that principle and applying it to something that, conventionally, can be a big time and financial investment, like a retreat. Here, you're going to discover how you can recreate the essence of your desired retreat in a way that works for you and your other needs, too. While you are totally free to go on a professional retreat, we can certainly benefit from a change of scene and time dedicated to self-care and reflection. The home mini-retreat is an option that provides a happy medium. Through this kind of activity, we can experience the desired feelings we seek without having to spend time and money we're not ready to spend, or sacrifice other important commitments and needs in the process. How it works. As the name suggests, the home mini-retreat is something you can do from the comfort of your own home. These retreats are ideal if you don't want to spend much time or money. They give you complete control over how long you spend, how much you spend, and what you do. Your home mini-retreat could be an hour lying on a bed listening to music, or it could involve activities like yoga, hot bubble baths, and home beauty treatments. As I mentioned in the introduction, the main aim of the retreat is to set an intention— What needs are you trying to meet with your retreat? What do you feel has been lacking in your life? And what are you yearning for? If you're aware of these things while you plan and prepare for your retreat, you are far more likely to be able to meet your needs. Example Retreat Let's say that one of your burning ambitions is to go on a yoga retreat. It's been on your bucket list for a while, but the financial commitment of the retreat, the accommodations, the transportation, not to mention the time away from work, family, etc., feels like too much. To get the benefits of a yoga retreat, you don't need to go to Costa Rica or spend 10 days in a Thai jungle. Simply work out an intention for the retreat, and you can go about creating it in your own home. Take a look at the itineraries of several yoga retreats you would consider attending, time and cost aside. Then, think of or write down the elements you particularly like. Is it the two yoga sessions a day? The meditation time? The device and electronics free time for reading and journaling? The vegan food? The opportunity to go hiking or learn local crafts? Once you have this list, it's time to get creative. How can you recreate this in a way that meets your current needs? For example, could you take a day where you start with a yoga session, take a walk in the country, make time for meditation, prepare a healthy lunch, spend the afternoon reading, and then enjoy another yoga session in the evening? Could you spend a single afternoon in gentle yoga practice and meditation, followed by a nourishing meal with friends? This is just one example of how you could use your retreat time. You don't have to take a day or even an afternoon. You can adjust the amount of time you spend depending on your needs, plus any other constraints or opportunities you might have. Why it works. A whole mini-retreat is less about what you do and more about what you want to get from it. As I said in the introduction, any self-care activity is a lot more effective if you can identify an intention behind it, and home mini-retreats are no exception. When planning a mini-retreat, the important thing is to focus on the feelings and experience you want, just like when you're planning your self-care kit. 
Once you know what you want the effect of your home mini retreat to be, you're in a much better position to plan how to create those feelings. Other thoughts. For more retreat-based ideas and suggestions, I recommend Women's Retreat Book by Jennifer Loudon. It's packed with thought-provoking practices that provide inspiration for your own at-home retreat. If you enjoyed listening to this excerpt from From Coping to Thriving, How to Turn Self-Care into a Way of Life, you may want to listen to the rest of the audiobook. You can find it on Amazon, iTunes, and Audible. You might also like the author's website, becomingwhoyouare.net, where you can find more content related to what you've just heard from the author, Hannah Brain.